Sometimes, a little nudge is all you need. Alex was looking for an adventure, and he found it in the idea of running Europe from north to south. For nearly a year, he planned, trained, and in August, he found himself at the start of the E1 trail. The window of avoiding winter is short in the Arctic Circle, and he would have to move fast if he was to avoid an Arctic winter. Without any celebrations, the chase started. Along with Sophie, he made his way south and she was almost an added layer of comfort, company as the routine and hardship set in. The E1 was barely visible and navigation became an important skill to have. With a broken tent on his first night of camping, luck would seem to have deserted him. Each of the first few days involved running through marshlands and crossing rivers. Sandals would seem like an insane choice, but here they were an advantage. absorbed in the landscape that you forget that you're supposed to be getting from one place to the next and then this hits you here we are Days went on with more river crossings, fatigue, hunger, 
boggy and unrunnable terrain fail to detract from magnificent landscapes. After eight days, a remote mountain hut provided a nightfall shelter and relief from camping outside in the strong winds and rain, relief that wouldn't last long with winter chasing down from the north. Eleven days in, Sophie goes her own way. The strings of responsibility are cut and it's time to increase the pace. This is slow going, it's annoying going, it's frustrating going, and I am seething. I fucking kill someone. I'm sick of this shit. My feet are frozen. I don't think even in shoes your feet would be warm. The daily routine became a comfort from the hunger, the cold and the constant feeling of being behind schedule. Do 
Coping with the pain became more an act of stubbornness with nature providing the distractions. Winter was coming. She was on her way and she was ahead of schedule. <laughs> days after days, Winter increased her grip on the land. I've been here since Wednesday. It is now Wednesday, so it's a week. Um, I'm stuck here waiting for a tent to arrive. I have no hair. <laughs> Thought it's a good time to do an update. Tent should be arriving today. 12 days of waiting for a tent. I'm not the best at waiting for things. I'm leaving, finally. An amazing morning. 12 days of uh, what I'm calling tent purgatory. 14 days were lost waiting for a replacement tent. 14 days that winter didn't need to catch up but the injury healed and it was time to move on. Bridge! <laughs> this bridge is held together with shoelaces! Oh my god! What oh, shit did it? Shit the best! Fuck! Said, rocky death comes fuck death. Food cabins and ferries shut, the early delays had closed the train. It was time to adapt, time to make decisions. Jurassic Park, anyone? This is where things go wrong really quickly. The visibility is what? Four, maybe five meters. So our markings are way further apart than four or five meters. <laughs> Plans have all changed. The E ones for a later date. But Europe, mm, I think I can do that still. I need to escape winter. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm excited because suddenly I've got a whole load of freedom that I didn't have before. I'm just gonna go across. Hey. <laughs> the route changed. Tarifa, just six miles from the coast of Africa, remained the target. <laughs> the target stood still. The adventure evolved. Why the boat's fine? Repaired a hole under there with uh, gaffer tape. Let's <laughs> see if it leaks. 
The planned route of the E1 was left behind for the uncertainty of the unplanned route, be it road or trail. The quest for food became the driving force behind any progress. Food! Lots of food! Lots of food, 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 and lots of food. Food, 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 food. This beauty. Look at it. A simple line of white rocks marked the Arctic <laughs> Circle. I can feel the warmth of being out of the Arctic Circle already. Look, yellow plants, green plants, yellow plants, green plants. Gotta get out in this. So turned out nice again. I've officially left the north. <laughs> it's still cold. <laughs> north button. I've just left Lapland. Welcome to a rest day. This is how we rest in Sweden. We run. It's getting cold getting really cold. This place must be hell in winter. Let's do it. What a delightfully autumn morning. Beautifully frosty. Bloody good chance I'm gonna fall in. Where I'm going. Straight across there. It's actually really thick. Crazy. What a crazy, crazy land. Something like these it would make running a lot easier. So, if anyone cares to donate one and knows where I can find one, um, that would be great. I would take this, but that would be stealing. <laughs> and the uh, tyres are ruined anyway, so I can't really take it. But anything like that would be great. A lucky find creates an ID. It may be easier to push a kit instead of carrying it. I think I've hit a jackpot! <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee! Hey. It's a trail! It's a trail! I found a trail! It's like a proper trail! My cap blew off! Into the water! And I'm back over! This is like a motorway. I am running on a motorway. Someone is the luckiest person sometimes ever. This side's shut. There's no traffic on this side. Swedish superfood.
<laughs> if I keep going for another couple of hours, I could be in for being two days ahead of my schedule. What's going on? Finally. inside of my bag by being naked in it. Running with a real person again. <laughs> it's a post of my imagination. Hey, hey. Back. <laughs> what do you think is that? It's raining. That's some crazy ass rain right there. <laughs> The kits he carried wasn't meant for double digit sub zero temperatures. There was an urgency to reach his first drop bag. I feel better today. <laughs> Check that out. Cool as that. Sunny outside. Guess the fun's over. <laughs> Go that way. <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> Packs packed again. The fight was on. Bloody cold. Camped in the snow. <laughs> the kindness of friends and strangers provides and delivers a stroller. The Vagony MacVagon phase experiment begins as Alex reached Denmark. My last few steps in Sweden. And this beast, this beast is a beast. Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sunrise. My right God, right that's, that's amazing. What a nice guy. <laughs> what an amazingly nice guy. <laughs> There's Vagony MacVagon face. And I'm back here again. <laughs> Time to run Denmark. It's not for us. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 we continue. That's Even, exactly why I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got company. <laughs> My first proper run. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, in Sweden, there's nobody there. It's still. <laughs> There's a sign. Germany! I'm on like a big sign that says Welcome to Deutschland! Germany was a mix of delightful landscapes, with day after day of travelling through fog. It was frustrating to find places to sleep, and to find constantly the route blocked by construction work. Please! 
Rug bag, apparently. Where's this come from? that join and follow the Rhine led south. Incredible woodland trails over the surrounding hills during the day, abandoned sheds and buildings during the night. The freezing mist made the journey seem more like a dream than reality. Germany. France. Germany. France. Germany. France. French hills showed that there is another level of fogginess, fog that lasted weeks. The fog wasn't going anywhere. The dam became an ever-growing problem. <laughs> How cool was that? The room down. The temperature hasn't actually altered very much at all. I get recognised as a hobo by hobos. The winter here wasn't as cold as autumn in Sweden, but everything was wet. It was hard to stay warm. Good morning. Highlight of the trip. He's gonna poo now, isn't he? He's my new friend. His name is David. I should really leave him. But he's in the middle of the road. <laughs> he was sure to get squished. Wing broken. It seems to flap a lot. This guy's um, he's got a fella's wings broken. Can't take it with me. That's gonna kill it because I can't feed it. It's taking me forever. There's a gap! There's a gap! Ali! 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 Bellier 
He's a bit badass. Check it out! Out in the south of France, the wagon was so hard to move around. Apart from this silly wagon. The wagon was becoming more and more a burden, but to honor the people that found it for him, he decided to end it until the end of the country. There won't be any Spain for the wagon. The crown has to go up this. <laughs> <laughs> the skin of his face was sold for days now. The beard had to go. Hola. And just like that, he reached the final country of his adventure. Yet, there was still a long way to go. It's time to get rid of the wagon. Yeah. Tis the last country! <laughs> Wagon in McWagon face. Yes. <laughs> Over there. So long fella. I've got everything I need. Back to where I was at the start. Just a pack. <laughs> First night in Spain done. expected an easy road along the coast and warm weather. It wasn't. The trails, a mix of soft ground and rough mountain terrain, felt like a return to the beginning of his journey. Like the best trail I've ever run. <laughs> Going up the pass, rain and wind joined the party to make the uphill even harder. But harder the climb, the better the view. That's nice, isn't it? Spain was an old sunshine and rainbows, but it had its good times. Expecto servicio! <laughs> Absolutely hammering it down. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. And then a rainbow. A full rainbow. Despite apothermia from the rain and freezing winds, it was like wonderland. Oh my God. Let's hear a whoop for Spanish trails. Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop! In each country, winter arrived early, but in Spain, 
winter extended her reach to the lands longer than ever. I think it eats. But if it does, it explains why my quads are aching. Oh, it snowed here recently. This is fresh. What? <laughs> Running head into the weather, the hardship was always forgotten during those random moments of pure beauty. Fall in love with adventure is a cruel thing. It strips away your emotional barriers and leaves you helpless. Adventure has stolen his heart and made him more aware of her touch. As he was getting further south, he started to feel that the endless adventure was closing in. The short replaced the legging, the socks went in the backpack, and nature was slowly waking up. like that. After passing fields of wind turbines, he was finally able to see it. The end of Europe! It's behind this blob! You know you need it! When you see a star, you can hear it! Only the tip of the peninsula was left, the last bit of the land for him to place his feet on. In the land of winds, his journey ended. He ran 6,182 kilometers from the north of Norway to the southern tip of Spain in 196 days. He escaped winter in Santos. He just achieved the unthinkable and without any celebration, went back home.